Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Cammie is here to talk about a twist on one of her favorite things, cheesecake fat bombs. Yes, please. By request. Oh, from me. <laughs> I said, please make them for your favorite things. I want yes. them. <laughs> Have you made them before? No, she told me about them, and I said, can oh, you please make you. them then okay. for one of your favorite yes. things? Okay, but let me clarify, because when I made them before, I used a recipe that had butter, and they tasted great, but I found that you have to freeze them, and oh. when you were trying to eat them, they were, like, too hard, and the second they got soft enough to bite, they were melting in my fingers. Oh, okay. So I'm like, I'm going to try to find one that doesn't have butter, that has something else, and I found this, and this is four ingredients, super easy, and I do know that you have to freeze them though when they're done <laughs> because I was telling Jeremy this morning I put them in the refrigerator because the other kind of fat bombs that I brought in yeah. you know could, could just go in the refrigerator but these because it's heavy whipping cream mm -hmm. and cream cheese they're somewhat soft okay. in the refrigerator yeah. but That's they're so good, good. Okay. so okay so we are going to throw one package of cream cheese okay. in here so I'm gonna grab this ahead. look at this cream cheese at perfect room temperature oh it is sliding off the plate perfect. that's amazing go. don't waste anything and then grab the vanilla please yes and we're going to just yeah. throw in like two teaspoons of vanilla you can just eye it Kel. oh okay well that's a tablespoon that's a tablespoon yeah that's, a, that's perfect so how about okay. that that's yeah. perfect okay. <laughs> yeah and then okay so i brought two kinds of sweeteners okay so whichever one you guys like better now here's the thing i made this last night and it called for a half cup of these sweeteners so i was like okay and wow. i start pouring it in when i tasted it it tasted like i was just drinking this sweet. well this Ew. is very concentrated it, these well it is but i mean that's what it called for but i use like two tablespoons okay. instead you so use that? and i think that's enough <laughs> i'm really happy with the swerve because i got the swerve for mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. keto thing i was making so i I never used it before, but I'm glad I had tried it. Yes, I, I wanted to, to try all the alternatives. Aftertaste. Which in that's the thing, the aftertaste. Yes. How much do you want, Cam? Do two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Yes. Oh, oh, that's okay. I thought you liked the swirl. Oh no, no, I do. I was just thinking it was going to ruin the swirl because it's <laughs> wet okay. from the vanilla. Just kind of. It's okay. How about we just do you know what? it? Oh, there you, you go. Yeah, you. <laughs> I can we're gonna. This. Hey, that's what we do. Okay, let's just handle it. Kind of there we go. There we go. So we're going to start mixing that before we add the heavy whipping cream. Okay. And how much is that? We're going to do one cup total. Okay. And I'm just going to mix it until it looks like oh, it's somewhat mixed. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That looks Looking good. good. <laughs> oh, I love me some vanilla, don't you? Oh, yes. Okay. It smells like cheesecake already. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put that um, that heavy whipping so cream So do you go to that line or yeah, is it? goes it all the way to the top. All the way to the top? Okay. Yes. I have the same measuring cups, Kim. Oh, yeah? I have the same ones. <laughs> You know, the handle have broken off some of mine. But oh, have they? Mine yeah, haven't yet, thank yeah. goodness. Okay, so we're just going to whip this. Now, heavy whipping cream, you can go to a stiff peak, and that's what you're looking for, which we may or may not have time right now to right. get that far. But I'm just going to put it on high about three minutes, probably. Yes. That is so handy. I do love you need it. to ever scrape the sides? You do. Okay, you know, that's what I find I'm not with seeing mine. anything sticking yet, yeah. but that thicker stuff kind of sticks at the bottom, so you kind of yes. want to get in there. Why don't you go ahead and do that really yes. quick? Yeah. Just kind of get it off the bottom, and that way it mixes a lot mixes. better. And now, I love these spatulas. I love them. Yeah. Now, we talked about keto last time, and it's been a while since I did that. But it, this does not work if you're still eating a lot of sugar. If this has a high cal calorie mm -hmm. and has good fat content. Right. So if you're mm -hmm. still eating a lot of sugar and this, that's not a very good combination. Yeah, that's right. This is to, you know, decrease your sugar. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is my replacement for dessert. Oh, yes. So... Which I do love. I, my go-to is now, and I don't even need to eat a whole fat bomb, uh -huh. but I'll go in, I have that sweet tooth, I go to my fridge, take out a fat bomb, I have a couple bites, and then my sweet tooth is quenched. It's, it's gone. It is, yeah. it is. And Kelly, you may want a little more sweetener than what I added, Okay. but uh, it, for me, that's all I wanted. I just need you know? a little little bit of sweet. Sometimes yeah. you just really crave that. Do you keep, yeah. Don't you keep stevia in your purse? Uh, no, but I do. Oh. I, use, I use it at home in my tea and everything. Yeah. Uh, like, if I mix up something that I want a little sweet, I do the stevia. Yeah. I'm okay. curious to know your opinion then on the stevia versus swerve and the aftertaste effect. Yes, and I'd like to, because these yeah. are different, I'd like to taste I would like to know what you think. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I, I really don't know. I think Clint, the cameraman, weren't you asking me about aftertaste last time when I made something? Yeah. Oh, yes. You know, I've found a really good sweetener. I, I love that is thickening up. Yes, it, it is, is thickening up. What do you think? Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. All right. Just a few more seconds. Yeah, a few more okay. seconds. We yeah. got time. Turn it all the way up. That yeah. is nice and loud. Whip it. Yeah. <laughs> Whip it real good. Yeah. This thing has saved my life. We were talking about it. it totally yes. changed my life. Yes. You have not having to stand there, hand beat something, oh. or even the hand beater. Yeah. True. yeah. Although, okay. as a child, I loved to take the one from my mom's and yeah, lick oh. it for sure.
Mine's getting a little old. Look at that. I just oh, broke. You just broke you your handle. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm but, so sorry. You know, this other handle's already been broken off. I'm telling you, I've had this for probably 18 years. Look at okay. the yeah, Let's wanna, get a shot wanna, of that. Look at this. Can we get a shot of that, Ivy? Look at the stiff yeah. peak. And I'm sure I got your hand yeah. cam. But that's yeah. great consistency. That's what it yeah. needs to look like. It, yeah, okay. it does because it's. I see it in the bowl and it's kind of standing up by itself. Okay. Okay. And so all I would do at this point is grab a. Now you can put this in like a frosting pipe and pipe it out onto wax uh -huh. paper and then put it in the freezer. Okay. It'll be a lot prettier than yeah. what I do, but I'm just in a hurry. Yeah. You need one of these. So I just stick it. I just pour it into here. Okay. okay perfect. So. Well, Jeremy, you want to yeah, do that? I'll do that. You're a little, you little bit yeah. closer than I am. Yes, I am. I don't want to. Back from my hand. There we go. So you just pour it into the molds? It. Yes. I'm just going to dip it. Look at so that. So now you don't need to put any anything in here. Now, when you do cupcakes, you do have to put the... Yeah, when you're baking in these silicone yes. pans, I would definitely spray it. But for this, there's enough grease in here. And fat, yeah. When you freeze these, they will pop right out. Okay, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Where did you get your silicone cupcake liner thing right here? You know, this is a KitchenAid brand, but I don't know where it came from. Any kitchen yeah. store. Kitchen store, I, you okay. Because I want... The, your mama was so nice. She got me individual ones. <laughs> yeah. I love them, and I use them. I don't them. even know where she found those, because those, those are nice to have individual oh, instead of those big pan. That and after you use it for a while, it's kind of staining and not yeah. looking so pretty anymore. That's you know? okay. But Nobody's supposed It'll to see this good. part. <laughs> Cammy, I like your idea about piping it, though. That's a great idea. Well, it would be really pretty if you, you know, mm -hmm. kind of make it look like frosting, and then you really feel like you're having a treat, right? Yeah. You know what I would do? I would just eat it from the bowl right now. And that's what we're going to do, or or have these pre-made. Yes, let's try those. Okay. Okay. So go ahead. here's what they look like. Okay. They're actually starting to melt right now, but okay. go ahead and take your spoon. Okay. And oh, try where's bite. that other spoon? Here, I'll, oh, take this. Oh, I'll take that one. It doesn't matter. Wait, because I would eat that from the bowl. Oh, so yeah. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. Take a bite of that. Mm. Oh, that's... and they're pretty. Look how white and pretty they are. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, what do you think about the aftertaste? Is that okay? I it doesn't I don't bother taste me it. at all. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't taste it enough. No. Because again, the original recipe called for a half cup. Mm -hmm. This is two tablespoons of sweetener, not a half cup. It, I I love. It. I think it's perfect for okay. me because I like the cream cheese taste. Yeah. I think it's amazing. That's how I like it. This is great. One yeah. of my favorite things now, Cammy. I can't Thank stop you. it. I'm going to make this at home, Cammy. I'm serious. You know how much I text you. I, was like, I made the fat bombs. Love yes. it. I'm making these. I love it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Cammy. You're welcome. All right, coming up, I have a rave review of the new Netflix show, That's Dead so to Me. It's coming up next. Mm. Yeah, start with a difference in your sweet <laughs> That is really good. I would have